I have a very special sample for this experiment, Chris. Algae balls. Algae balls are clumps of algae, which is a very simple kind of plant. And like almost all plants, it does a thing called photosynthesis. That means it uses sunlight to help the cells make things. The algae balls are going to represent our skin cells. I want you to lay them out along here so they all get different amounts of light. And this light is going to represent the sun. And when we shine the light on them, just like the light that hits our skin from the sun, you're going to see something amazing. We just need to wait. All right. How long is it going to take? Over the next few hours, you can see the change take place within the tubes. As the algae absorbs carbon dioxide and as more oxygen is produced, the liquid gets darker. Now, the tubes got different amounts of light. So the tube that got the least light absorbed the least carbon dioxide and the liquid changed color the least. But the biggest color change was in the tube that was right next to the light. It got the most light and it had the most carbon dioxide absorbed. Now that's a bit like what happens in your skin. The more sunlight you get, the more vitamin D you make, but also the more your skin changes color. Just like the liquid our algae balls are in, that's one brilliant superpower your skin has. So being outside in the fresh air and the sunshine is good for you in lots of ways, but particularly because it enables your skin to use its super synthesis power to make vitamin D. But the problem is that you may know that ultraviolet light can also be bad for your skin. Luckily, your skin doesn't just have one superpower, it's got two. Chris, to the cupboard of everything. Get in. And I'm gonna need this. Oi, wait for me. Oh, hello, sunshine. Why are you dressed like that? Because, Chris, I'm bright, I light up a room, and Mum says that the sun shines out no, of my... No, she does not. Why are you dressed as the sun? Because, Chris, we are here to demonstrate the skin's second superpower, and so we needed a sun. And I brought with me my ultraviolet rays. Take that, skin! I'm shining them at the skin. They're getting absorbed, and the skin is synthesizing vitamin D. But wait a minute. Holes. The ultraviolet light is harming the top layer of the skin. The epidermis. Time to meet the skin's second superpower. Meet Mighty Melanin Man. Where is he? It? It's you, Chris. <sighs> it's me. I'm here to save the skin with my secret weapon, melanin. Represented here by this brown grid thing. It absorbs ultraviolet light and helps protect you. And it's the reason you can get a tan. In almost everyone's skin, the more sunlight it detects, the more melanin it makes, and the darker it becomes. More ultraviolet light being delivered. This is working so well. The melanin is absorbing the energy of the ultraviolet light and stopping it damaging the epidermis underneath. Good work, mighty melanin man. But I think we really need to put you to the test. I don't like the sound of this. Prepare to be bombarded with ultraviolet rays. Here we go. Oh. Yes, straight through. These new ultraviolet rays are making mincemeat of my melanin. It's really wreaking havoc. Ooh, well, sometimes even the mightiest superheroes need a sidekick. And luckily, I have one. It's time to bring out sunscreen. OK, son, let's see how you cope when I apply a big dollop of sunscreen. We're about to really bombard the skin with some powerful ultraviolet rays. Do your worst. This is what sunscreen does. It absorbs and stops the UV light from damaging your skin. Mighty Melanin Man saves the day. Your ultraviolet rays are no match for my sunscreen sidekick and my melanin pigment. So we've shown your skin has two superpowers. First, it can make vitamin D when exposed to the sun, a bit like how plants use sunlight. But too many of the sun's ultraviolet rays can also damage your skin, which is why your body has another superpower, melanin, to help protect it. It does an amazing job, but you can help it out too by wearing some superhero sunscreen.